Okay, here it's 11.44, just so I can remember it's quarter till noon. And I'm going to start working on one of these here. And I thought I'd show you how fast I can go through it since I've done it so many times. And I've got this thing here playing, but it makes noise. And so I want to open with that. I'm just going to dance through the pictures. I took these pictures May of whenever. So like that. And you can see that, right? Yeah, okay. So. That's how this thing all comes apart and what I've done to it. So that's back at the beginning, right? So if I go back a page or two, that's what I expect to see inside this model. And I'm just going to basically take it apart and get to the points where I need to get to the tape deck here and uh, so on and so forth because I've already done this numerous times and so I just want to show you how easy it is to take one of these things apart. So let me wipe this thing out, move the camera down, right? And uh, there we are, great. Here's that. Here's this, all right? It's playing, okay? It's playing the tape like that. It's got some noise in it. The radio works, let's see. Here's the radio. It works, but it, it just needs to be cleaned because all the it's got too much noise in it. All this, so anyway. So without further ado, let me just move the uh, camera down to my lap. Turn my light on. Get my screwdriver. Okay, great. So okay, just no. Still got a slow eject, but anyway, it's just all gummed up. So unplug it, okay? Get this out of the way, get that out of the way, put this in your pocket. Okay, so there we go. Close that up. So now, okay, um, let's see here. Move the camera down some more. All right, great. So, okay, so in here there's, okay. Nothing in the battery compartment, but I like to take that off anyway, so let me get, oh, I need a uh, easy out, so let's see, this is, let me use a good one, okay, here's a good one, all right, here's a good one, so, so here we go, right, so, oh, that's right, this got him up under the antenna, okay, so here's one, easy. Right, so we got, there's one, and two, and oh, that didn't come out, that one came out, and that came out, and that came out, so this is the only one that, all right, so let me ask you go all right, so Turning. Okay, we'll try it. Let's, let's take the other parts off. All right. Let's get. Okay, I need my fork. Where's my fork? So, okay, here's my little fork. Oh heck! <laughs> Look at that. It just fell apart anyway. All right. So. Okay. All right. So here we need to. Um, okay. So. This wire here, see, how can I do this so you can see me? I guess if I move the camera, let me do that. Right, let me move the camera a bit. Right, I'll put that there. This here, move the camera a bit. More somewhat over my shoulder, I think. All right, so, all right, so like that. Oh, yeah, there we go, so. Am I wide out? There we go, so. I like that. Okay, so now, so 
Let me see. Well, I have to come down some more. All right, there we go. So now we're down. Okay. So this one wire, black wire right here, this goes to, uh, let's see, let me get a headlight. Long running conversation with somebody about why do I use a headlight, even though it's, I got all these lights on so I can see into the darn thing because it's hard to see. But So right here, just below, right next to the antenna, here's the antenna wire, which is a white wire, okay? This is the grounding wire, which goes to the speaker, you just unpull that off, all right? And then... And we need to, since this has never been worked on, we need to undo uh, one of these. This one here doesn't do anything. It's just a um, it's just a screw mount hole for having one of these uh, wire guide things. It's just one of those. Right? These are wires a bit. There's another one here on the tape deck corner, which well maybe we don't have to undo. Okay. Great, so now I freed up those wires. Okay, so now we have the, okay, so now we have the, uh, one of these is the speaker wires, which I believe is, okay, that's not, let's see. Um, anyway. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. So, here's this one here, which is, well, that's the microphones. Okay, the microphones, right? And then way up here, this one maybe is the hard to get at one. Let's see, put that down. Um, yeah, this one's a hard to get to one, but it comes off easy, okay? And then, uh, yeah, this little three pin deal down here, okay? And we have another, uh, you know what we should have done is we should have taken a picture. Let's just do that just because we can, all right? So, here's the camera. Okay, fine, so, great. Okay, so we know where those go, but we can always refer to the pictures we have up there. But okay, so that's out of there, that's out of there. And you pull this one off, right? And then you remove the front speaker. There, there it all is, and it's all at glory. Okay, we'll come back to that much later. Now the next part is to okay. I got my fork out, so this fork off all these little bits on the top here, right? So this is your mic mixing. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah. So here's your mic mixing deal. Alright, so you want to carefully lift that off. And here is the uh, stereo mono and also part of the mic mixing thing. This is the on off or uh, level, see, level or battery or off switch for the meter. And this is your function switch for the uh, radio tape or line in, okay? And this is your uh, tone control right here. And this is your two, um, you know, dual volume controls. And this is your AM, FM, uh, AM and FM, and whatever, AM, FM, and, and FM stereo. Okay? So there we go, you got all those off. Next thing we need to do is we need to remove the tuner. Okay, so the tuner is, um, oh, I can't remember this. Okay, it's, yeah. It's um, one screw here and one screw up over here, right? So let me get my screwdriver. Okay, so. So. This one here. There we go. Okay, that's a short one. And then over here is a short one. Like that. There's a short one, a short one. Okay, then we forgot to take the tuning knob off, so let's take the tuning knob off. And there we go. And then, then what? Um, and then, let's see, I think we forgot we have to remove this. Um, okay, I can't stand these little things, but we have to push these down. So, do I have a flat tip screwdriver? Let me get a flat tip screwdriver. Let's see, a small one. Okay, here's one. A small, small flat tip screwdriver because we've got to take this little panel off. So we push this down carefully and pull out on this metal trim thing. There we go. That's one. Come over here and do this side. Right. There that one is. Now you don't want to make you make mindful of that thing there because you don't want to snap it off. All right. So I come up to the bottom one. There's one more over here. 
There we go. Great. And then you just kind of carefully pull that out of the way. Great. Now we got that out of the way. So now it looks like this. And then, if I remember right, this thing just uh, comes straight out. Okay. See, I've got. Oh, I. Okay. You have to discombobulate the uh, stereo light, which is up here in the corner. So it's a little short wire. And it's got. So there's that one. Okay. So there's that one. And was there anything? And then, okay. And then this brown wire travels across up underneath here. Let's see here. Let's just take a picture of that just for, so we know. We can remember all this stuff. Okay. Great. Okay. Right, so just that's there. Right, and then, let's see. Let me pull these off. And unhook this from that. Right. See, so, no. Come on now. Alright, so, and then this plugs into here. Okay. So we can unplug this. Oh, that was a difficult one. Okay, so now I got that undone. I need to get this out of here. Come on now. Come on. Well, I'm stubborn. Well. Well, oh, okay. Let's see if we can just. Ah, oh, I missed the screw. I forgot a screw. There's two screws down here. Okay, here's the other one down here. That's right. Alright, let's get this one. I love them when they're magnetized. Great. And that's a, a stuck on there. Good. All right. Now I should be able to come out. I think I. All right. So this comes out. Oh, that's right. We gotta. Well, I we got that. Oh no. Okay. This one, the whole board comes out. That's right. I can't remember all these things. So it's what. One, two, three screws across the bottom. Wait, okay. Undo the uh, main power board thing. Let's see here. So, where are the screws in here? Here's one. Okay, so, I have to do all this just to get to the tape deck. All right, so there's one. And then, there's another one. I think that's all. There might be a, let's see here. No, there's still no one those screw on here. Oh, there it is. Okay, just hard to see. Okay, there. So now, now it'll come out, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, yep. And then, of course, like I mentioned before at the beginning, here's your white wire for your antenna. Okay, so. Come on, come off of there. Yep. You know what, I didn't have to take all this off, but I did, but it's, it's not important. At least I got this off. And then now that you, you want to clean these controls, you can, because, you know, there's just, it's real easy to get to. This switch is kind of difficult to clean, but you want to go into the bottom and maybe a little bit at the top and try and clean those things. But there we are with that. So that's out of here. Okay. And then, um, we need to look at this. Okay, so this this right here is bent forward. So we'll need to uh, take this off and see if we can bend that tab back more upright again. Okay. And to take the tape deck out, it's another uh, one, two, three, and this screw right here. Okay, so that's four screws and that falls out and just lifts out. So here we go. Okay, so. that. There's one. And okay. And then go on. Well, there we go. Two. And uh, three. Oh, that shouldn't come off of 
Okay, it wasn't supposed to take that off. That's part of the solenoid. Let me put that one back in. I made a boo-boo. <laughs> okay, so, nope. Okay. So, still missing this one. All right. Now this one, whoops. This one's kind of important because this one's on the corner right next to the motor, okay? And it's got this here. And you see this if I point my finger. See this here? This has got a, a wire with a, a pin on it, and then also this uh, brass looking thing needs to be cleaned. So this has to be uh, preferably uh, scratched up with some emery cloth on both sides, then this metal panel scratched up, and also this little brass panel up underneath because it goes down to the circuit board, and this wire, back wire, goes to I don't know where. Okay. But all that goes together to help it uh, keep its whatever. Right, so. And then here's one wire. Uh, this is for your solenoid thing, for your TPS to work. So we unplug that. Okay. And then we've got, well, I don't need to take off the rest of these wires because these wires here go to your, uh, this is your head wires for the uh, tape deck right here. It's obvious they go to the head. And this does have, okay, uh, this does not have a, this has just a regular magnet erase head. It does not have an AC erase head, so it's just no AC bias on that. So it's just, just for the playback head and record head. Okay, and then of course it back here it's just got the one belt, which is taut, but it's a flat belt, so these last forever. It's just the only issue we have to mess with here is uh, getting this one thing here and then of course go through um, this and check the, uh, just check the cleanliness of it and such. And of course, now if I was changing the belt, I'd go this far and just change out this belt because then this just takes, uh, this runs off of gears. So it's, um, but this belt's in good condition. It's a flat belt. It does work, but uh, I may I may take it apart, not in this video, uh, just to uh, uh, lubricate some of the points because that's just kind of tedious there. But and then this thing up under here with this um, this steel right here, this is your recording bar switch, and if this thing never moves over a long period of time. Uh, this will get gunked up. It's already dusty and everything on here and the dust can come in on the back side of the thing and You know fall down in there. So this really needs to be cleaned with stuff And of course your switches they're difficult to clean, but they can be done And that's about it. So this is fairly clean on the inside uh, But it does need some Touch up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do that and shut this off and I'll bring the camera down, let you see it up close somewhat. Just thought I'd make another video. And so here it is. It's about 18 minutes. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so there it is. You take these three screws off. Wait, take these three screws off, lift this off carefully, and then you can replace the flat belt with that right there. There's not much you can do over here, just you know, get in get into these uh screws areas to clean those switches and such and of course this switch here is well it's right there but um yeah it just well here it just falls it's just held in place so that's all it does there all right so nothing to that one these don't do that because they're attached to the board all right so so yeah that's all i know all right so yep so yeah just clean your you know, recording bar switch by putting, you know, your uh, your deoxid or your contact cleaner and follow it up with some air. And don't ask me why that's there. <laughs> uh, okay, that's for cleaning the carpet. All right, so that's all we know. Good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed. I've had too much fun. It's been nearly 20 minutes. This is how you take apart a RX 5100. Or the similar 5110 or a few other models similar. But the thing I like about this model is this thing is made out of steel. 
I mean, it's built to last, unlike your plastic Magnavox and Philips models. All right, said enough. Bye-bye.